Glory to God. There's a way for you to discern that you're in wisdom. And that way is that your strength will increase. If you're in wisdom, your strength will increase. Always remember that strength, it deals with mental energy, mental endurance, mental joy. That's what strength is. Strength has everything to do with the mind. So when the word of God says, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, be strong in the Lord. That means to find the strong spots of the Lord Jesus. It's amazing. It's amazing. It means to locate where his energies are, what boosts him. And when you locate what boosts Jesus, it'll boost you. When you locate what energizes the Lord Jesus, it'll energize you. When the word said, be strong in the Lord, it was saying, find out what's in the Lord. What's inside of him right now that's keeping him strong? What's making him energetic? What's making him faithful? What's causing him not to have any hindrances in his life? Think about that. Be strong in the Lord. So the strength is in the Lord. The mentality is in the Lord. And there's a focus that the Lord currently has. When you locate the focus of God, that's why the word of God say in Proverbs chapter three, it says, happy is the man that finds wisdom. Happy is the man that finds wisdom because wisdom is not just a decision. Wisdom is a location, is a place. And so wisdom is a place where happiness lives. Happy is the man that finds wisdom. Happy is the man. The man is what God created in Genesis. He created that man in his image and likeness. So even a person has to step into the man because the man is the idea, the portrait that God created. Happy is the man. So once you become the man, meaning God's origin, what he intended, now your next decision is to find wisdom. Cynthia. <laughs> Cynthia back there just chilling. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. So his might has power. So you can tap into the might of God and never reach the power of his might. His might has power. So even when you step into the might of God, you have to locate. You have to locate where the power is in that might so that that might can stay strong on you. Samson stepped into the might of God, but he didn't stay in the power. You see, he became a slave of the Philistines. Because the power has might. I meant the might has power. <laughs> well, both of them do. The might has power. So once you tap into might, you have to locate the power that keeps that might flowing. Because might is like a cell phone. Power is like the charger. And if you have a cell phone, that battery goes down. Even though it's a cell phone, you can't use it. So it no longer becomes a cell phone. If you have a car that's broken down, even though it's a car, it's really not a car. Because you can't drive anywhere. <laughs> so imagine there's so many people that have the might accessed by God, but never step into the power of his might. And so the might goes down the drain. And when you lose God's might, you step into Satan's might. This might not happen. This might not. This might not work. This might not be a blessing. This might not be accomplished. This might not come to pass. This, this might not happen. 
and, and, and Satan manifests his might because you ignored your might and you never stepped into the power of God's might. So now Satan start operating in the powers of his might. And Apostle Paul said that there's principality and powers. And so Satan will step into his powers and it'll create all type of emotional imbalance. Listen to me, this is powerful. Take these words that I'm speaking to you and use them because it's fresh is what the Holy Spirit is saying to me right now as I stand before the presence of God is fresh. And Lord Jesus, I give you praise for this. Shifting your focus that is gifting your soul.